morning youtubers really enjoyed this morning with the weather it's been beautiful and very interesting as well this is the last stretch of the river Stolt that I've not filmed so I want you to join me from just above Feek's Lock down the river to Moorin Marina that's not Zebedee from the magic roundabout on the bridge in front if you look closer you can see he's got a skipping rope and he's doing all his physical jerks I get most of my exercise operating these locks when you're a solo boater you're backwards and forwards pulling and pushing winding I only show you a few snippets of what I actually do It looks like summer has finally arrived. The weather's beautiful today, so I think we're going to be in for a treat. Up here on the right, there's a small gap in the trees, and you'll see some of the more, how can I say, imaginative moorings that people use. In the summer, the roofs on these boats make a lovely sunbathing platform like on the left young ladies enjoying the sun of course I hardly noticed I'm too busy steering the boat look at that lovely blue sky There's a lot of open countryside on this first part of the journey but if I can remember rightly on the way up it changes. If you hang about for a little while with me you'll be able to see for yourself. There's a weir over here on the left so that's a telltale sign that we've got a lot coming up. Very pretty. Before I came up here, I had this picture in my mind how it was going to be going through Harlow and I wasn't that enthusiastic about doing it but it's turning out one of the most beautiful stretches we've got a lot coming up in front of us and just to the left of it is the Harlow Mill pub what a delightful spot to have something to eat and a pint of beer the lock gates are open so I'll just go straight in been lucky I made a bit of a mistake today with my footwear I put on a pair of Crocs which for people that don't know they're like slip on rubber sandals I thought they'd be okay where the ground is not slippery and muddy but I didn't take into account when you're pushing lock gates backwards and forwards 
my feet were sliding inside the sandals. So I'll have to make a note to myself in the future to always wear a pair of boots or a strong pair of shoes. If there's any new people out there watching and you're thinking about subscribing I wouldn't subscribe just yet I'd watch a couple of videos and then make sure you like my channel and then hopefully if you do subscribe I'll keep you forever I'd like to have a go at that paddle boarding. Looks a nice way to explore the river and not too strenuous. I chug along real slow around all these twists and turns and blind bends because you never know what's going to be coming the other way. gives you a chance to manoeuvre like now I decided just to put H in reverse and stop him because if I'd have tried to turn my stern would have come out to the left and that boat would have had nowhere to go so I'll just take me time reverse up and be off again no I'm done If I'd have been flying around that corner, I'd have just T-boned that other boat with 15 tons of steel. It wouldn't have been pretty. So the moral is, always take your time. Don't rush on these canals and rivers, or you shouldn't be down here. You're not going to get anywhere fast. This is going to be my last video of the River Stolt. I think I've covered it in quite a bit of detail. Hopefully I've shown enough of its beauty to encourage a few other boaters to come up this way. Especially the wide beam owners that say they haven't got a lot of river and canal that they can use. The Stolt and the Upper Lee will be perfect for them. And apart from the lockdowns, I've loved it up here. And I hope this hasn't spoiled me for when I do finally get onto the canals but we'll see We've got some sort of sluice gate and a weir coming up on the left. I'll see if I can show you a closer look. If 
very nice As per usual up here, the river gods must have encouraged this wide beam owner to moor its boat right up against the lock landing. Because otherwise they'd have had enough sense to realise how they're making it so difficult for everyone else. That's the only reason I can think of why they do it. When I first started now boating, I'd have been panicking and it would have probably took me 10 minutes, quarter of an hour to do this little manoeuvre. But luckily, I'm getting a little bit better every day. Just going to tie H up roughly while I go up there and open the gates. little nudge and in we go There's a boat services point at Moorhen Marina. So when I get there, I'm going to fill up with water, empty the toilets, get rid of the rubbish, ready for my trip down to London. If you've been watching my channel from the start, you'd have heard me worrying about getting through London from day one. And now the time's coming. I'm hanging back a little bit here to give that boat that's on coming enough room to get by the wide beam. The boater that's just passed me has said there's a boat coming up just behind him. So I'm going to have to be a bit mindful here because there's not a lot of space with this bridge and wide beam. So I'm just going to take it steady. good sensible boater coming up he's just tooted his own letting me know that he's seen me I'm gonna squeeze over here as far as I can on the right without grounding to give this other boat a bit of room It's nice to see some good considerate boaters on the river, makes it a lot easier. We're going to go into a heavily wooded area now, it's going to be interesting. The canopy of the trees is going to close in right over the river.
we're going to get like dappled sunlight coming through the tops of the trees and hopefully the camera can focus in all right on it all This river Stolt has got some truly beautiful areas. Moorhen Marina, which is not far up the river now, is the very first place that I viewed H. So I would imagine he's been up and down here a few times before. Here's the marina entrance. And I'm on the service point now, filling up with water. I'll take the camera out and show you around. Mum and Dad's brought the family up to meet me, but I've got nothing for them though, sadly. No toilet emptying facilities, they've got a collapsed drain at the moment, so that could be a bit of a problem. And there's all H's old mates moored up in the marina. That'll do it for this one. I'll see you on the River Lee down to London. Bye.